we are very, very excited. And uh, it's an absolute honor to be with one of the big stars when, uh, in this movie, which is Lupita. Welcome, thank you so much. Thank you. Harriet, now, I was just telling your director now that when we left the screening of the movie, all the ladies kind of jumped outside and we all wanted to go to the bathroom just to check if our makeup was still <laughs> Because of the so many moments that were tear-jerking, an absolutely wonderful story told about Uganda. When you look at the kids of Uganda, do you see yourself in any of them? Their strides, their accomplishments even maybe? Oh yeah, I mean, I definitely see myself in Fiona's story and in Madina who plays Fiona. Fiona is a girl who was a small girl with a big dream who achieved it and she battles with self-doubt and uh, wrestles with a family, her family to get by on her side, with her mother to get on her side. But she gets the support of both her mother and her mentor and her community and because of that she's able to achieve something much bigger than what she had imagined and I can relate with that. Um, despite the fact that I come from a very different background, but the um, having that dream that you just don't think is achievable and then achieving it, it feels, it, it's, it's quite something. And I had gone through some, a similar thing uh, not long ago with my first film, 12 Years a Slave, and so when I received the script, and this is that, this is that anthem, dream out loud, that's what Queen of Katwe says. And uh, Fiona's journey is emblematic of that. The balance between your role and who you are, and I know that you guys take up roles all the time, so it's kind of easy for you guys sometimes, but you not being a mother and having to now portray this mother of three kids that goes through four, serious, actually. four, yes, goes through serious, serious hardships, um, especially with one of the older ones, you know. Um, how was that like? How did you find your balance? How did you find your center as a mother in this film? You know, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do the film, because Mira was asking me to do something that nobody had asked me to do until that point. And in such a heartwarming story of a positive view of um, an African experience on such a large platform like Disney, uh, it was just, it was just a no-brainer. I had to be a part of it. And, you know, for to play Harriet, I met the real Harriet, and she really helped me form my, the core of who Harriet was going to be as I portrayed her, because the woman I met was very grounded, uh, enigmatic, mysterious, and also quite witty. And uh, she, she had this dignity that was not determined by how much money she had in her pocket mm. and that really moved me just in meeting her and talking to her and it was something that I definitely wanted to honor in my portrayal of her but then I also have a powerhouse of a mother of my own and I did spend a lot of time calling her up and saying how did you ever let me out the house <laughs> you know because motherhood ew, it's not easy yeah. it is not an easy job uh, but then also meeting the children that were to play my kids, they were so open and so uh, ready and hungry to do their roles. And they taught me so much. So I think for me, it was just about um, opening up to the experience more than anything and allowing them to affect the way I would play their mother. I think a lot of us will probably resonate with how true, as much as uh, not all of us would have been to Uganda and actually have been acquainted with kids like Fiona, but I think a lot of us will be, will resonate a lot with the trueness of the film, the authenticity mm -hmm. of the film. How do we get it right? How do we tell more African stories more truer? You know, Mira Nair, the director, has a film lab, and the motto of the film, film lab, the mantra, is if we don't tell our own stories, no one else will. And this is case in point. Mira has lived in Uganda for 27 years. This is a place she knows, she loves, she respects. And so in her hands, this story is told as authentically as we see it. She captures the cultural nuances. She gives every character 
like a roundedness, you know. You don't see stereotypes or tropes. These are real rounded people with more than one, you know, dimension. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about that. It's about who's telling this, who gets to tell the story. It's about the opportunity because, you know, this is Disney. Disney decided they wanted to make this film and Mira was in the right place to do it. So it's that. It's, um, but obviously opportunity is a, big, uh, is a big factor as well. There's a scene um, of your character where I think after your son tells you that, you know what, mommy, in layman's term, let Fiona flourish, you know, this is her way out, let her flourish. Um, after you guys had an argument the night before about her finishing paraffin, and you go out and you buy paraffin, do you remember moments like that when you had with your mom, when you were so passionate about something, but she almost needed just that little nudge for someone to tell her, listen, let her be. You know, I have exceptional parents and uh, my, my parents were always quite encouraging of us pursuing our dreams. In fact, they, they just, they insisted upon it almost, mm -hmm. you know, about finding out what we were interested in and being deliberate about nurturing those things in ourselves. So I, I, that is not a quality I could, um, I can relate mm -hmm. to, but I get it, you know. This is a woman who is trying to make ends meet, you know, and there's a lot of practical things she has to think about. And the thing about poverty, actually, is one of the things that people who are impoverished miss out on is just vision. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have time for vision when you can't find your next meal. And so the, it's a very reactionary way of living. And what Robert Katende does is he gives her the gift of vision through playing chess. Yeah. And in doing that, she's able to see more than one step ahead and get herself out of that s cycle.